The small village of Waverley was home to two brave adventurers. Jack and Gillidge of Waverley was home to two brave adventurers. They were determined to make a difference in the world, and they were always looking for a new challenge. After receiving a mysterious letter, they knew they had to take action. The letter contained an invitation to embark on a quest, a quest that would take them to the farthest reaches of the kingdom. With no hesitation, they began to prepare for their journey, gathering supplies and packing their bags. Little did they know that the quest would bring them face to face with danger, excitement, and the unknown. The mysterious letter was found tucked away in the back of a drawer in the old castle. It was written on a piece of parchment paper that had been folded and sealed with a wax stamp. The letter was addressed to the king, but it was unsigned. It spoke of a great treasure hidden away in a secret location, and it promised great wealth and power to whoever found it. The king was intrigued and decided to set out on a quest to find the treasure. He gathered together a group of adventurers, including a brave knight, a wise wizard and a cunning thief, to help him on his journey. Together, they set off on a quest that would take them to the most dangerous places in the kingdom. The adventurers had finally reached the entrance of the mysterious cave, and the air was thick with anticipation. As they stepped inside, they were met with a riddle carved into the wall. What is the secret to unlocking the spell? The adventurers were stumped, and they had no idea what the answer could be answer could be. They searched the cave for clues, but nothing seemed to make sense. Finally, they noticed a strange symbol on the wall, and they realized that the symbol was the key to unlocking the spell. With this knowledge, they were able to solve the riddle and unlock the secret of the spellage. Now, they had to find the secret ingredient that would make the spell work. The secret ingredient to unlocking the powerful spell was hidden deep within the ancient library. The key to unlocking the spell was a rare herb known as the moonflower. Legends said that the herb had been used by powerful sorcerers in the past to cast powerful spells. The moonflower was said to be incredibly difficult to find and even harder to obtain. It was said to be guarded by a powerful creature that only allowed those who were truly worthy to pass. With the help of an old map, the adventurers began their search for the moonflower. The final battle was a test of strength and courage. It was a battle between good and evil, between the forces of light and darkness. The stakes were high, and the outcome would determine the fate of the world. The heroes had to use their wits and magic to defeat the forces of evil. They used their spells and potions to weaken the enemy, and eventually emerged victorious and porous and porous. The battle was long and hard, but in the end, the forces of good prevailed. The heroes had saved the world from the darkness and restored balance to the realm. The final battle was long and arduous, but eventually the heroes emerged victorious. As the dust settled, the old wizard stepped forward and revealed the secret of the magic spell. He spoke in a low, mysterious voice, and the heroes held their breath in anticipation. He revealed that the spell was composed of three simple words, each with its own power. When all three were spoken in unison, they would unlock the power of the spell and grant its wielder the strength to defeat their enemies. The heroes were elated, and they thanked the wizard for his help. With the spell revealed, 
they were now ready to face any challenge that came their way. In conclusion, this chapter has covered the entire process of discovering the mysterious spell spell. From the riddle of the spell, to uncovering the secret ingredient, and finally to the final battle and reveal of the magical spell, readers have been taken on a journey of discovery, discovery of the magical spell, readers have been taken on a journey of discovery. The total word count of this chapter is words providing readers with a comprehensive overview of the spell's origin and purpose. The characters were determined to embark on their quest. They gathered their supplies and readied themselves for the journey ahead of their supplies. They set off in the early morning, the sun just beginning to rise over the horizon. They were filled with excitement and anticipation, but also a sense of trepidation at the unknown that lay ahead. The journey was long and arduous, but the characters were determined to press onward. After days of travel, they reached the edge of the forest, the destination of their quest. They paused for a moment, gazing into the dark depths of the trees, before finally taking the first step of their journey. The adventurers had no choice but to press on, despite the ominous clouds gathering in the skies, gathering in the sky. As they ventured further, the wind picked up, and soon a fierce storm was raging around them. Rain lashed down, thunder roared, and lightning lit up the sky. The adventurers fought against the wind and rain, struggling to stay on their feet. Eventually, they made it to shelter but the storm had caused them to lose their way. They were now stranded in an unfamiliar place, unsure of how to continue their quest. After the treacherous storm, our heroes have persevered and faced their fears. Now after words of thrilling adventure, they are ready to take on their quest. With courage and determination, they are prepared to discover the secrets of the mysterious letter and fulfill their destiny. They have come a long way and are ready to face whatever lies ahead. Who knows what they will find, only time will tell. The journey continued for the brave adventurers as they ventured further down the strange path path. The path seemed to be leading them to some unknown destination, and the further they went, the more mysterious it became. Trees around them seemed to whisper secrets, and the wind blew an eerie chill down their spines. They could feel something strange in the air, and they knew that they were getting closer to something special. As they continued down the path, they saw a light in the distance, and they knew that they had arrived at the start of something new. The journey continued onward, and as the traveler ventured further, the path began to take a curious turn. Suddenly, instead of the usual chirping of birds, the traveler heard a strange rustling sound coming from the trees. As the traveler approached, the trees began to speak, telling stories of a distant kingdom and the magical creatures that lived there. They spoke of a powerful wizard who lived in a secret cave, and the traveler listened in awe, captivated by their tales. In the end, the trees wished the traveler well on their journey, and the traveler was filled with a sense of excitement and anticipation for the adventures that lay ahead head. Riding Hood continued on her journey, feeling a little uneasy. As she walked, she heard a deep, menacing growl coming from a nearby bush. She was startled to see a large, gray wolf with 
piercing yellow eyes, staring back at her. She was so scared that she could not move. The wolf stepped out of the bush and began to slowly walk towards her. Red Riding Hood was terrified, but she managed to find her courage and stand her ground. The wolf circled her, growling and snarling, but Red Riding Hood refused to back down. She stared directly into the wolf's eyes and spoke firmly, warning him to stay away. The wolf stopped and stepped back as if he had understood her. He then turned around and walked away, leaving Red Riding Hood alone and relieved. Deep in the forest, the adventurers stumbled upon a mysterious cave. As they cautiously approached, they noticed a faint light emanating from within. They stepped inside and were amazed by the sight before them. The walls were lined with glowing crystals, and the air was filled with a strange, almost magical energy. They soon realized that this was no ordinary cave. They soon realized that this was no ordinary cave. It was a magical cave, filled with ancient secrets and powerful enchantments. The adventurers explored the cave, discovering its many wonders and uncovering its hidden treasures. They were amazed by the secrets they found and the power they felt. As they ventured further, they knew that they had discovered something special and unique. In conclusion, this chapter has provided an overview of the strange path, the talking trees, the big bad wolf, and the magical cave. All of these elements have combined to create a fantastical story that will capture the imaginations of readers. With a total of words, this chapter has provided enough detail to draw the reader in, while still leaving room for further exploration of the story. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from us. We'll be bringing you more exciting stories and videos like this one. See you next time.